All right, good evening class. Uh, almost uh, 11 p.m. on this uh, approaching midnight on the 16th of April. And uh, so I want to do a video very quickly. I've only got 15 minutes to try and finish this. So gonna do it. it's going to help you for 7.12. The title of this video is Return Indicators and Debt Equity Ratio. It's going to help you how to calculate the partner ratios uh, and the uh, debt equity ratio. Partner ratios are very important because it helps a partner understand whether his return, uh, his investment is yielding a good return. Now keep this in mind for commenting. Uh, a good return is 10% or more. The, the, the market norm, in other words, if you invest anywhere else in the market, you would get around 10%. So if a partner is getting about 10% uh, in the business, it's good. All right. Anything less than that, not too good. But if it's better than the last year's comparison, then all good. All right. So we've got a partner, Abba's, uh, uh, Abba's Stationery Shop, Salvin Moodley and Pat and Bobby. Uh, and this is the appro appropriation said it's got the net profit, the partner's salary, interest in capital, share of the profits. Uh, and then this is the comparison of the two years capital, current accounts and non-current liabilities for both the years. And there's the question. So it's very similar to 7.12, but you can use this for 7.18 and 19 for return indicators. So the first one is calculate the percentage return earned by the business. Now I've got the, the formulas here. The percentage earned, uh, return earned by the business. The first thing is your net profit over average equity. Average equity is the total equity for both the years divided by two. Total equity means both the partners capital for both the years, both the partners current account for both the years, then divide by two. The net profit was given to us and um, there's a chair, 160,000. I'm going to put it there and I'm going to try and go as quick as possible. Um, so we don't waste time. 160,000. Um, if I do not finish it in this video, I will do another one uh, following this. And then the average equity is this here for both the years. So I'm going to add all this for both the years because equity is made up of capital and current account. So if I look at all these amounts here, 380,000 plus 350 plus 10 plus 5, 350 plus 380 plus 10 plus 5, so go down, 350, 350 plus 380 plus 10,000 plus 5,000, then I do the, the next, the current year's one, was 440, 400 plus 25 plus 8, so 440, 400 plus 25 plus 8, so 440, 400 plus 25 plus 8,000 and then you divide it by 2. And don't forget we must multiply it by 100. Alright, so I don't want to waste too much of time there. And then I will just copy this. Copy and paste it below. Uh, and it's looking quite big, so I will make it smaller um so that it fits in and i'm sure you can see what's going on there it's still 100 so when i when i do this calculation and then i divide by two so i've got my calculator in front of me i don't want to take too much of time um so that we can finish this video quickly so 350 so i'm going to add all of this here all of this here i'm going to add it and then divide by two plus 380 plus 10,000, plus 5,000, plus uh, 440, plus 400, plus 25, plus 8,000. Then I say equals to, and then divide by 2, I get 809,000 here at the bottom. 809,000. Right, 809. 809 and uh, I need to shift this uh, there 809,000 times 100 so try and zoom that 809,000 times 100 now my final answer would be a percentage so I take the 160,000 160 um, 160 divided by 809 
equals to times 100 and I get 19.77%. Um, you can make it uh, equal to uh, round it off and that can be 20% 20, uh, 20 percent. 20, uh, all right, so uh, you round it off to a whole percentage, 20%. All right, so I hope that you understood what I did. And then the next one is calculate the amount earned by Moodley. Now I put the formula, Moodley for 2006. Guys, straightforward, the partner's earning is their salary, interest in capital, and share of remaining profits. It is in your PowerPoint. So Moodley, 2006, and if you go up, there's a chair. Salary for Moodley, 65, is interest in capital, 20, and his share of remaining profits. So 65 plus 20 plus uh, share of profit 20 right 65 plus 20 plus 20 that's going to be 65,000 plus 20,000 plus 20,000 and that is equal to uh, 105,000 that is the amount earned by Moodley 105,000 right very important and then the amount earned by um, Bobby for 2006 same story you're going to take his salary interest in capital from bobby is 35,000 salary 19,000 interest in capital 15 so 35 19 and 15 and i'm uh, going to go there equal to 35,000 plus 19,000 and his share of remaining profit 15,000 and that will equal to um 69 69,000. All right, that's it. And then we go to number four. Uh, calculate the percentage return earned by Moodley. Guys, it's the amount earned by Moodley in 2006 divided by Moodley's average equity. Amount earned by Moodley is what we just calculated here, this 105. And then his average equity is his is, uh, is current account and capital. For both the years and you divide it by two so his amount earned by Moodley in 2006 is 105 which we calculated before and then his average equity is going to be his capital for both the years Moodley's capital for both the years and Moodley's current account for both the years and we divide by two so that would be 380 plus 440 remember for Moodley 380 plus 440 and uh, to, um, 25 plus 10 so 380 plus 440 plus 25 plus 10 380 um, plus 440 plus 25 plus 10 and then remember you divide by 2 uh, and then don't forget to multiply by 100 because you want the percentage uh, and then I'm going to just copy this and paste it because we're going to need it uh, when we do when we calculate it. So it's going to be straightforward. I'll tell you what the amount is now. Um, so 380 plus 440, 380 plus 440 plus 25 plus 10, 855,000. Then I divide it by two which is on average 427 500 so my final answer is going to be i'm going to do the calculation now 105 divided by 427 500 equals to and i timed it by 100 to get the percentage i'm going to get 24 24.56 which would make it 24.6 when you're doing the partners one, you, you must do it in one decimal place. Uh, for the business one, you can do it as a whole uh, number if possible. All right. Um, yeah, 24.6%. Now I'm going to do the one for Mbobi. Very similar. What did Mbobi earn in 2006? Mbobi earned 69,000, right? The earnings, 69,000. Sorry. 69. And then is average equity. When Bobby's average equity, you're going to take uh, his capital for both the years and his current account for both the years. Add it and divide by two. So it's going to be 400,000 plus 350 plus 8 plus 5. 
And then we also do not forget to times it by 100. And uh, like I always did, I'm going to copy it below because we'll need it. And uh, also don't forget that we must divide it by 2. All right. And uh, so we're going to get his answer now very shortly. And I got my calculator. So it will be 350 plus 400 plus 8,000 plus 5,000 and then 763 and then I divided by 2 381,500 and now to get my uh, final answer uh, which will be right my percentage um, undo and that And that will be 69,000 divided by 381,500 equals to times 100, 18.086, which will be 18.09%, um, 18.09, or which can be 18.1%, uh, 18.1%, straightforward. Uh, and then, so we basically got all of that. and quite happy with that um, so now uh, we've got the percentage return so you can see 18% it's quite higher much more than 10% of the norm so you can see the partner should be quite happy with that I'm already helping you with the comments now the partner should be happy it's much more than the norm uh, and if you compare it to previous years 20% uh, 23 Okay, for Moodley, uh, um, it's got 1% more, and Bobby's got 18, 6% more. So he should be quite happy with the return. The business return for last year was 20%. This year also, uh, I see the same thing, 20%. So they should be happy, same return. As long as it's above 10% uh, of the current market norm, they should be happy with that. So overall, I think the partner should be happy with the return because it's more than 10% and there's been an improvement from last year as well. All right, the last one, debt equity to see how much financing is coming from each part. Non-current liabilities is uh, um, is 240, uh, uh, 240,000 uh, this year, 240,000 uh, because we're calculating for this year. I think the question asks you to calculate for both the years, but I'm only doing for 2006. So 206, oh, let me just go, um, 200 and, uh, all right, so it's actually 240,000 and the owner's equity for 2006. Now I'm only doing 2006. Your question will ask you to do also for 2005. And then the, the owner's equity for 2006 is all of this here, 440 uh, plus 400. 440 plus 400 plus 25 plus 8. All right, so this is the uh, partner's equity uh, for the current year, 2006. And when I add them up, it came to 873, 873,000. Wow. Now, when we divide it, so how we get our answer is we take 240,000, 240 divided by 873, and we get 0, 0.27. 0 0.27 um, is to 1, which is like 0 0.23 is to oh, 0 0.3 is to 1. If I look at last year's debt equity, which is, this is very good because it means most of the funding is uh, in the business is coming through equity uh, because equity is 1 and this 0 0.27 is not much, not even half of the equity. So liabilities are low. If I compare it to last year, 0 0.41. So last year was quite high, and this year it dropped to 2.7. I think the business should be happy, which means more funding is coming from the owners and in uh, capital than borrowings. Liabilities means borrowings. So overall, the business should be very happy. I've done this commenting while I was doing the calculations for you, so I didn't put the answers for this. You should listen to what I'm saying, and then you, you comment. Remember as well, for the other activities, uh, 7.18 and 19, calculate and comment. God bless you. Hope you enjoyed this. 
stay blessed